Hello, um, I'm pretty much doing a response to uh, Luke 59.45.7 with his money system versus monetary without borrowing versus cashless society and you. Um, Really, all of these systems use a form of exchange. One that he's talking about uses more uh, contract, where, say, you want to, as far as I understand it, uh, if I'm wrong, tell me, because this would help me try to understand it better. But as far as I can tell, it's you want a house or a car, you get a contract for it, and then you work for the contract, and then you get the car, whatever the contract says you get. Um, if that is correct, then that means that your medium of exchange is your work. What you have to do to be able to own that product. See, ownership means you have to work at something to obtain it. Um, we have enough shit around the world where we do not need to actually own it, we just need to be able to use it. Uh, there's so many tools at like hardware stores where they just sit there for freaking months and don't even get moved. It's just waste. It's wasteful. Uh, the cars that just sit in parking lots, the greatest portion of their existence, it's just wasteful. We need to get rid of so much shit and just get down to not being children and actually being adults and share something we tell our, our little, the little kids and we don't do it ourselves. Why would you teach your children to do something and you're not for it? That's stupid. Um, besides that, little, little rant, um, you, you're hoping that this is a positive thing. And I, I don't, I'm not downing you for wanting something different and trying to work within you, what you understand in your means. Um, but maybe there's something way out in left field that it potentially be a little bit better. Because either way, in this current system, you have lazy, good-for-nothing nobodies. In that system, you're going to have the same shit. And in any system, you promote anything. Even the system that I'm for, there's still going to be lazy, useless nobodies. But I'm hoping that it, for a lot of it, over generations, it's not going to be a single thing where one generation is going to fix the whole thing. No, it's, it's going to be many generations trying to go forward and fix shit. Uh, so, I'm not, this isn't my, what I'm for is not a system of fix it now and I'm going to benefit from it. No, it's fix it as much as we can right now and move forward and then the, our children will understand what we're trying to accomplish and they move forward from that and they keep moving forward generation after generation. If you are stuck with a system that is for contracting, how, uh, how are you going to move forward past that? If that's the best and then that's shown to be the best, how are you, how is that going to promote well-being for the future? Um, and furthermore, um, yeah, with the contract system, you can be a little skinny with it. Um, say that I am a, per I'm a person that is able to uh, produce these contracts, okay? But uh, if you work within a set parameter, then you are allowed to use that contract. But if... Let's put it... I'll just make it simple, because... That's just going difficult. Um, say that you want a house. You get a contract for that house. But because you get a contract for that house, you can only pick A, B, or C for your vehicles, not D, E, or F. 
So you're bound within that contract to stay within that contract to be able to keep your house. But maybe you don't want a car from C, A, B, or C. You want it from like Z. It's not within your contract, so if you get the car that's within Z, then it breaks the contract. You don't get your house. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There are ways to screw you within that system. Within a use it, and then when you're done using it, give it back. Or if you want to you keep it, keep it. That's a little bit more harder to screw people, especially if they're not forced to work for it. And you did say that you don't have to work for it, and that you could just keep it. But then eventually there is going to be a repossession of it later on. How is that any different from our current system? You're still going to end up with a repossession. So, um, we need to get away from the whole incentive, what we consider incentive, because my incentive is not to have my children, my children's children, to deal with the same shit I deal with. Okay, if we end up in a contract system, how is that going to, how is my frame of thought going to prosper? Get it? How am I going to be able to get my kids and my grandkids and my great-grandkids to have a better life than I did if they're stuck within a system that they have no control over. You're still, you're still for a government, which eh, I'm more for self-governance, be responsible for yourself, and if you fuck up, guess what? You pay for it. Not no fucking question about Oh, no, cause he, he hit me. I was, I was, uh, I got insurance. It's stupid. There's, I have not found one bright little gem out of the whole conversation we've had. You're just telling me that it's not the same. How is it the same? Just telling me it's not the same is not telling me how it's not the same. Okay, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Your medium of exchange is your work. Okay, within our current system, we have two medium, two mediums of exchange. You work to get credits to be able to buy something. You're just getting rid of the credits part. That's all you're doing. You're getting rid of the credits part. So instead of it, it's just being you want something, you work, you get money, and then you pay, for, you can go get it. It's you get a contract, you uh, end up with credits for that contract because you work to obtain those credits your work credits towards the contract. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. You can't be free if you are stuck doing something you don't want to do. There are thousands and thousands of bad things that could come from that. There are billions of bad things that could come from that are our current system, and we should see them. Your system only helps people obtain things, not learn anything, not uh, exceed the that system. It doesn't help them with that. It helps them stay within that system and potentially even stay within your means. If you're stuck doing that, then there's no progress. Progress is based on what do you want to do? What's the boundaries?
to be able to do that. Well, that's what I wanted to actually explain how I first see your system working out. And I, I hope this helps you understand my point of view on your system. Um, I hope you have a good life, and I hope you have a little bit more of an idea of my thoughts on it. Peace.